Hello everyone, it's me, Mr. Sneaky, and today we're going to be going over everything in the patch notes. Obviously, I've done the video on the whole patch notes. If you're going to check out everything individually, go check that video out. But this is going to be a nice little video showcasing some of those changes and some additional ones that wasn't mentioned in the patch notes. So stay tuned for more. Hello everyone, so yes, it is the patch as landed as you can see we're in the game I got a bunch of gems from the already showcase and one of the things let's show the bam, 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 These so as you can see in here now the 24 hours and 12 hour attacks and defenses have all gone I had a bunch and now I've got a bunch of gems for doing it. So it's a nice little you know thing to gain is a bit upsetting that obviously they've gone but it is what it is everyone's got rid of them so it's fair in that regards so that's one of the changes in the game if you're obviously logging in and you're wondering why you've got so many gems that's probably why so just to give you guys a little you know little thing to look forward to if you had some gem um, some of those up you might not have as much as me obviously um, i had a load stocked up but for, for you, you might have quite a few still, so we'll see. I'd like to hear in the comments below, you know, what you guys think. So before we go into everything in these patch notes, remember guys, hit the like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Obviously it helps massively. I do need more subs. Obviously from the analytics, 70% of you aren't subscribed, but you're watching the content. So it's, if you love watching the videos, you can just hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and all my content just comes up on your feed. So you don't have to try and search for it. It will always come up and you can stay up to date with everything that comes out, right? So with the patch, let's go into one change um, that came into the game that hasn't been um, announced really. And it's to do with in certain settings. So if you go into the policies area, if you look at the bottom now, there's this little COD button. Same if you go into, for example, your research, it's there as well. And there's a few other areas you can find this in and it gives you the ability when we go onto it to check out when it loads up if you're on the pc it will load up a like web page and it'll be a guide of what's going on right but if you're on the mobile version and you hit this button it will pop up on your screen right and you're going to be able to see any guides for the policies and it's going to be a way for content creators like myself and other player people to post guides for you the community to look and read and thumbs up if you find it obviously informational and then people can go somewhere to find some basic tutorials and basic understandings of the game right so it's going to be a very community driven project as you can see so that's going to be obviously in the game from now on it is obviously a, a few other areas you can see this uh, but that is one change i think is a really good change to add into the game it's really good thumbs up and it was added in this patch so let's go into some of the nitty gritty stuff right so if we go to the hero section for example and we go down to fear obviously this is her first skill the second skill is the same the third skill i forgot which skill it is this this one right so this skill here has been changed so now you can see you get a 10% attack buff so even at level 1 you're getting 10% defense and 4% attack and 10% march speed if you're using flying right so that's the big change there for her so if you're looking at that as well if we go into the artifacts right look at the artifacts and this is dragon scale armor so as you can see it grants a boon shield now so if we go to the details and we can look at what it's doing. You can see it's a boon shield factor 3300 for 10 seconds and you get keyed for 10. Passive, your legion gains range resistance when the wielder gains a shield through rage skills, right? So you gain this as well. Really cool effect to have. You can put it on obviously Madeline and get a bunch of shielding from that way. Even Elena, for example, you're going to get a load that way. So we'll soon see how effective this is going to be now in the open field it's going to probably shake up the meta right obviously there's a few more artifacts that got changed with the similar nerf or nerf i should say change so if you want to check those out that's where you can look at them however if you want him to check out the new artifacts the way to do it from now on is because obviously the artifact change if you're wondering guys if you go in here 
and click the artifact. Before, if you hit the probability table, it was allowing you to see, as you can see, like the Bloodbane banner and the breath and a lot of this stuff that was entering the game entered straight into this pool and you was able to get it, right? So you was able to see a lot of the artifacts this way. However, obviously this has changed now and they've changed the probability chamber, uh, table for the artifacts. So we need to find a new way of looking at them and a really good way and thanks for Hulk Them Gaming for <laughs> putting this in chat because it's one thing I never knew you could do. Um, but I remember it is a very similar system to Rise of Kingdoms. You can do the exact same thing. So I'm a kind of a dumb dumb for not doing it and it's a big tip for you guys is if you click on the artifact that you um, have all equipped to any of your heroes on the hero screen and click replace. When you go down to replace now, you can see everything that's not owned. And because it's not owned, it's really cool because now we can see the two extra artifacts here, right? So this is the new Infernal Flame artifact that's going to be for the mages, right? It's going to be a really cool artifact, so let's go back to it. It's going to give you, at the moment, it's not showing you any max skills because we don't have it unlocked so we can't see. But, as you can see here, you do a damage factor of 1100, the effect duration is for 3 seconds. And then your passive is your Legion gains Magic Keen, which when the wielder inflicts Scorch on the enemies. So if you have Fire Mages like Lilia, and I'm guessing in the future they're going to be bringing out some more Fire Mages to inflict Scorch. You can put this artifact on them and it's going to give them Magic Keen. And Magic Keen is a 15% attack buff for 5 seconds. So it's going to be a really powerful artifact. At the moment, it's obviously a very pay to win artifact, I will say. And I'm obviously going to be open to admit it. Just because it's only fitted for Lilia right now. But in the future, like I stated in my patch video where they're moving Kanara out of the gold chests. They might be moving her to the wheel potentially. This new mage that they might be bringing out to fill the last legendary mage slot. So there's two for a free to play player to pick from. And will be the wheel commander might be a fire mage, right? So it makes sense if there's a fire mage coming and there's a fire artifact for that mage. Obviously you don't want to um, account Lilia because Lilia is something behind a paywall and because she's behind a paywall she's not accessible to all players and that's why it's a very um you've got to be very you know critical of when you're choosing artifacts and what's in the game and what might be coming into the game right so this artifact i do really like it's a really good artifact obviously for lily it's going to be op but for the future with more fire mages it's going to be a really powerful artifact that you're going to be wanting to use right so now you have the choice to pick infernal flame for scorch based fire mages and then you have Phoenix Eye, which is more tailored to the Ice Mages, right? Which are about bursts. So it's a really cool effect. When you go to the second new artifact, this is the Flying PvP Tank one. So it is a 1 minute 30 cooldown, 600 rage, compared to the other one, which is a 1600 cost rage, just to put it in perspective, right? So this costs us almost a third of the cost. You give free boon shields to to a selected friendly legion right so you can give yourself and three allies um, or two allies potentially a shield the boon shield as you can see is as states and it's a very powerful shield effect so it grants um, it doesn't tell you how many seconds this is a little bug they're gonna update this I hope anyone on screen in the dev team is watching but the passive grants one stack of mark of judgment and this is a really cool effect every mark of judgment you gain as you can see you'll see here increases deals the damage dealt to the target legion and then when you hit 10 or up to 10 and you cast your rage skill you expend each one of those marks and you deal more damage per stack so you can see here it's 250 damage per stack so if you have six or seven stacks up and you do seven times seven 250 that's how much damage you're going to be dealing here right so that is it's really cool effect it's a really powerful effect to put on to ganking and maybe flying units 
it's a really cool um, effect in that regard but I don't know how it's gonna stack up in the meta right we're gonna see in the future with more flying heroes comes into the game I expect this is gonna be more prevalent and a very meta dependent artifact but for now if your aim is just to look for some good artifacts that you can star up right and invest into I wouldn't go so hard into the visage right now maybe in the future but not at the moment for me this is just maybe a bit too niche for a free-to-play player to pick up and level up with in my opinion right but that could be different in in the future but the, this is the second one and the first one like again if you want to check these out go into your hero area so if you enjoyed the video so far smash a like comment and subscribe guys i'm just going to go into a swift transition into the next zone um of the patches because there's a little bit more to cover and you'll see why hello so yes we're gonna be going over the second part of the video the cool thing that i wanted to go over obviously it's a little nice smooth transition into it is they've added obviously all the new emojis they've added all the new heroes um like talks so for example right here we've got pan i've already spoken to pan today but as you can see we have a full voice line for her it might not be on the video unfortunately because i don't record the in-game audio really but this is full you know 3d modeling now full voice acting completed and this is true for so many more heroes the cool thing which they did which was quite surprising is when they stated that they was adding more emojis the thing is we was expecting obviously they were adding more emojis to the area which is your you know this the current guys coming in right so we've got pan we had like nika and nico these these are all new heroes coming in so we expected okay there's gonna be a single new emoji for that right as you can see the pc setups had a nice little clean ui change i'll go over that in a moment but with the emojis though as you're gonna see in a moment there's so many more is more than anyone expected to see on a screen and the thing is now so even like in this madeline has a second one craig now has a second one as you can see husk has two you've got keller with the two the bling i love the bling bling one the question mark some if it's, it's so cool but even this one by order like bring it on and the clean that the little i love the cleanness of the lily one the two lily ones for me are the two best ones so far still in the game but you can see even valen's got them we've got nico nika we've got alowin now canara he's here emery's is here we've got alistair's second one backsheet second one we've got fear and i'm saying we've got pan so as you can see there's a load of new ones and i've already got one of pans the thing is that you still unlock in the same way and the thing is, what they've done is, when you go to the emoji area now, they give you another reason to push your trust, right? And this is giving you another reason why you should be talking to all of your heroes that come into the into your city, right? Because if you want a certain emoji over another, you can speak to them, and then you can give them that star do that you've been earning through your daily gifts, um, through your, or your daily quests, shall I say, in here this section here from all of these when you complete it you get that stardew and when you get that stardew as you can see it is giving you that extra bit of trust gain and then you get your, your emoji so i hope you guys like have kind of followed that i know i kind of was almost convoluting it a bit but it's a really cool system that made you force you to almost speak to them to get free rewards and by getting the free rewards as well you're going to get these cool emojis as an extra unlock right it's a really cool effect so as you can say see i'm going to be trying to get everyone done now so we've got a load of things to do also remember guys when you do level up your heroes right and you go to these dialogues every trust here so from levels two three and four when you complete these you unlock heads right so you, if you're looking for example 10 heads maybe maybe you needed just 10 to upgrade canara to the next level it's a really good way of getting some free heads is just by giving their you know honor up or their trust level up so that's another part in the game that's you know been introduced i did show briefly on screen when you click on the chest as you can see some nice little rewards there from the increase from dailies 
And then finally, what I'm going to go over on the PC to sum everything up is, as you can saw, they've updated the UI. So even down here now, you can see the little help icon comes up, which is better because it didn't do that before. Even when you click on your profile now, it comes out as a tab, which is a really nice tab. Because in the future, as you can see, you're going to be able to click on your heroes, these achievements. You can see, obviously, any of your pictures that you've got up on your wall, which is really cool. You can exit the game nice and easily and go through all your settings. So they've cleaned up, as you can see on screen, the PC client, which is a really, really nice feature for me. And that pretty much sums up the video, guys. That's everything you're going to need to know on the patch that's been updated visually that you can see obviously there's a bit more of the data context that i haven't gone over but again that's all covered in the patch video that i did yesterday so if you enjoyed the video and we're at the end of it hit the subscribe button like and comment below what you think so far to these changes obviously there's one more change i haven't covered i'm going to be doing a special video on that so don't worry and i know you guys are probably screaming in the comments about union union unions we are going to be going over that they are in the game again as you can see but that's going to be a separate video so till then peace out guys and catch you in the next video